Yo, so what? What? What's up? Uh, we got the verdict. We got the verdict yesterday. That was probably oh, yeah, the man. biggest oh, news. Yeah. Look, hey, we got a lot of slander behind that. Did we? I don't think we did. Well, slander? We got slander. I mean, we got a lot of complaints on our post over that. Why? We did, man. But you know what? Really? Our, our 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 subs, our followers, are gangster, and they hold us down, and you know they respond to 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 any negative feedback for us. Yeah. You know, so shout shout out to everybody who 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 follows us on Instagram, everybody in the comments right now watching this live on Facebook, on YouTube. Mm-hmm. We see y'all. Yeah. Yeah, thank and you. And all we did, all you did was post the news. Post the news. Like, do you really go on CNN and and and, and leave comments like that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe. <laughs> True. True. Hey, we live in different times now. I saw that you guys posted it on your page. How was, I didn't get to go down the comments because there's, it depends on the artist, depends on the source who posted it. Like you see, I don't know if yeah. you guys see Maverick. All they did was post like something super hopeful, uplifting, sanctified, you know what I'm saying? Sound doctrine. Right. And the comic mm-hmm. section, when, co- section was going wild. So mm-hmm. how was, wow. how was that on, on you guys' end when you guys posted that? I, don't, I mean, guys, we're not Maverick. Because you know we... Right. We just basically mm-hmm. posted the information. We didn't say anything like, oh, justice was served, but nothing. Yeah. We didn't, we just posted, look, this what was happened? the verdict. This is what happened. Yeah, they, look, look, this is the actual caption. I got it up right now. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin has been convicted of all charges in the death of George Floyd. Chauvin faces up to 40 years in prison for second degree murder, up to 25 years for third degree murder, and up to 10 years for second degree manslaughter. That's it. That was the caption. Like, no yay or boo or none of that and yeah. you know a, a few people were, were kind of there were some books written on there though <laughs> <laughs> that's all good it was a lot of back and forth but you know that's good for engagement right yeah yeah that's good I mean, for our engagement i mean i don't yeah. i don't i don't mind like if people have a disagreement you know what i'm saying sure. like you can disagree with we, we all brothers and sisters in the lord you know what i mean just Absolutely. don't act like because you disagree that you're saying you're more righteous than other individuals Definitely. because you have a certain stance on a on a situation you know what i mean right or we have an agenda like you just assumed what our post was about you know what i mean and, and right you just went on your own assumptions and started writing on it yeah but it's all good but yeah anyway back to the verdict uh what y'all what did y'all feel about that man um, so I'll start. Honestly, I was surprised because, you know, we were hearing they were closing down the schools, they were closing down everything, whatever. Um, mm-hmm. There was, a, a, I guess, messages being sent out like, hey, you know, things is going to get wild or whatever. And then it turned out and, and then because of that, I thought, OK, so they already know that this dude is walking free, um, which right. is what I went with. And then. It, they announced, and I was like, "Wow!" So all three counts guilty. Mm-hmm. So that's that's what took me by shock. And you know, we've been through this, you know, numerous times where um, cops, you know, they go and they get they get a trial, or whatever. But it turns out, like, you know, there's not enough evidence, or there's not this or that, and then you know they walk free. So right. that that's kind of like my my I guess uh, expectation was with him. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's wild. What'd you think, Ant? My bad. Um, I don't know. I I I thought I felt like he was guilty. I thought he was gonna be guilty. Um, I didn't think he would be guilty on all account all three counts. I thought they were gonna let him slide on like one of them. Um, but I think he was guilty and I think he got what what was coming. Right. Hmm. Yeah, I, th- I think most people thought he was guilty. Most people didn't think he was going to be found guilty of all charges. You know, so it's interesting. I'd like to see what, what, what the sentencing is going to look like, you know? That's um, where you're going to really tell. Yeah. If, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, they're not out of the clear as far as these, whatever, if they think there's going to be some riots and stuff because... Oh, we gotta wait eight weeks to see if that's gonna happen. Cause yeah, that was is that normal? Uh it, there's usually time between, but I would assume with COVID and everything, everything gets pushed back a little bit further. That makes sense. Hmm. Yeah. But 
Now I was tripping when they were like, "All right, sentencing in eight weeks," and they were and and the prosecution was like, "Well, we need bail revoked." And yeah, I saw that. I was surprised. The judge was like, "Boom, all right." But wow. my man had the eyes like looking back and forth. He was just looking left, right. Like, wait, what just happened here? Right. Yeah, man. Yeah, his yeah, eyes said it all. <laughs> his that eyes was, was like, wait, this is really happening? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Josh Josh says, it'll get appealed. Most likely something may be dropped from the... I believe branches. I believe that. I believe there'll be an appeal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's going to go through a couple of appeals. For now, sure. remember, if if in case y'all didn't know, in Minneapolis where that other cop had shot that, that older lady... Um, and he was sentenced to 12 and a half years. Um, it was 12 and a half years, third, third degree murder, right? Which was one of the charges Chauvin got. Mm-hmm. Um, that cop, I, I want to say they, they had did an appeal. Um, and he only did like 30, 40 days in jail. What? Yeah. Wow. yeah. Now the city what? paid. The city paid out like similar to what happened here. You're right. But that dude was released. Although he was sentenced to 12 and a half years for the same charge, he ended up coming home early. So, wow, son. So, something interesting that I read was that, you know, let's just say he were to get 12 years um, sentencing, that he would serve eight years based on uh, uh, Minnesota, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Minnesota law, he will serve eight years in a jail, and then the rest he would be like on a parole or something like that. Parole. Um, yeah. And he yeah. he do it concurrently, right? Yeah. Concurrently, right? Yes. Yeah. Correct. So I was like, wow. So you know, yeah. If he gets twelve years out of that, out of that, he's he's already out well, after eight. He's you know? also getting charges for each each sentence, right? Yeah. Right, right. Right. It's so it's 12, like twelve and a half, and I think four years. Are those charges that I read? Oh, okay. So that's uh, like what, four, twenty-five, six. That's twenty-nine years, from what it looked like. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, that's a long time, bro. Yeah. Now, yeah. does he get his pension and all of that? Um, that's a great question. A- after <laughs> he's out or during, like, do, do they still pay him? Pay it out? I hope I not. Know. I don't know. I, I hope not. About that, I mean that, that's that's tough, man. Because you have to consider his family, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah. but he has a family. But, but I don't know. I'm saying just in general. Um, but did he consider uh, uh George Floyd's family? You know what I'm oh, saying? Right. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I don't think you know. And I'm, pension, I'm like, I'm like taxation is theft anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think he gets a pension if he's fired, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. get anything. He's done. Okay. So, um, so he'll write some, a book. Some people their pushback was uh about the drug use um that was found in his in his system, saying that um, right. it wasn't like reason. There's it is reasonable doubt. I think um that there is reasonable doubt. Um, there was also people talking about how the charges were unfair. Not that he should have not gotten charged, but that some of the charges that he did get charged for have nothing really to do. Like I think Ben Shapiro had mentioned like something about like if you throw a rock um uh out a window and you happen to hit somebody, like that was one of the charges. And they were saying like this this didn't equate to those charges, like what he did, you know what I'm saying? Did y'all hear about that? I think I've read something similar, um, like around uh, uh, those lines, because people were asking about the three counts and why is it that, you know, like, why is it like one, like, I guess, less than the other, but then there's like much more time. It was very confusing, but I remember uh, reading something that said, uh, you know, if you hit somebody uh, with your car as you're driving, you know, that could be considered uh, like a manslaughter or whatever. But right. the thing is that they have to prove that you intended to kill this person with your car right? Um, versus, you know, if it's an accident or something like that. Because in, in the example you use, like you throw a rock, you know, and it, it kills somebody. Now, did you throw that rock because you meant to kill them or you just threw the rock and it happened to right. uh, 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 
you know, kill somebody. Like right. That, so. And that's what that was kind of what people's pushback was. And they were saying that, well, technically, you know, they were trying to say that there was no intent to kill him. Um, but isn't that isn't that why um, he he didn't get charged with murder one? Because murder one, you have to have some sort of intent. Yeah. That's why they didn't charge him with murder one. And I think that that's that's one of the reasons why um, a lot of people in the public um, are misinformed when things like this happen because they're always like, oh, he should get murder one. Well, no, you have to prove that that dude woke up that morning and said, I'm going to kill this man today. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that you can't prove that, you know? And if you try to prove that, you're going to lose and you're going to ruin like the rest of the, you know, the opportunities to to get him on the other lesser charges, you know? So I think that's why they hit him with manslaughter, murder two, and murder three. Right. Mm -hmm. Josh on uh, YouTube says that that pension may be secured because most police are union, and that's tough to take away. Mm. Could be the case. That makes sense. Wow. Yeah. So you got pensions. Mil military can yeah. easily strip retirement pensions. I'm not sure about police. Hmm. What were you saying, Tommy? Sorry, cut you off. No, nah, you go to jail, then you you get out of jail rich. I say. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. It's wild, bro. But, but then, but go then fund me. can't you? Yeah, can't you argue though? Like, uh, we have people who get out of the jail system, but they can't find a job, obviously, and they mm -hmm. don't have any money, which is why a uh, high percentage, you know, go back to whatever they were doing before and then end up back right. in jail. So, shouldn't you be securing, you know, your 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 money while you're in there, and then you know, if you end up getting out, that you know, you're not going to struggle like that. What do you mean by securing your money while you're in there, though? I like, you know, you you you're you have some sort of income that's coming in, yeah. Um, you know, whether it be the pension or whatever. I mean, obviously, if you're in there, you you can't literally go work a job. But um, if there was like a some sort of passive way to 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 get money in there, yeah. But I want to say, look at the difference. Like, a uh, a dad has to steal credit cards because he can't pay rent, and 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 he's doing it because he has three kids and his wife. And bills to pay, and the job that he's at isn't making enough money, right? So he he, he steals a credit card, but pays his bills, gets caught, he goes to jail, right? That's mm -hmm. on his record. Now he can't get another job when he gets out. So what's mm -hmm. the the cycle that starts, right? So mm -hmm. now he can't find money anywhere. So he's back into his original situation that got him in jail, versus the police officer who had a job, who had a career, then commits this crime, then he goes to jail, but he has money. Occurring, so when he gets out, maybe he can't get another job, but he's good. You know, yeah. what I'm saying? you see, mm -hmm. like, like where the, uh, like where where it differs scales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, th I, I think, uh, I think the different scales in the sense because um, a cop is a government employee; he's getting being paid by tax dollars. You know what I'm saying? So in essence, yeah, you know, I mean, when cops do this, black, white, Asian, Latino, um, it's government sanctioned murder. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's much more of a travesty, you know? Um, mm -hmm. it, like, if we're putting it on scales like that, I mean, evil's evil, in, you know, in, in in the eyes of God, of course. Um, but, like, I don't know, man. Like, I'm, I'm not cool with the pension thing. I think, like, like the scenario that, 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 that Tommy painted, um, I was that dude. I was doing credit card scams. I, I, you know, I caught a case and I bounced back. I never had to do another crime again. You know what I'm saying? I, I, bro, I don't, I don't even, I won't, I won't even steal a pen. You know what I'm saying? If I got a pen, I fill out a form, I check in somewhere and I still have the pen. I'll walk back and I'll right yeah, back. right back, bro. Right back. Like, like, like that, bro. I OD, you know, like, like I just, you know, I'm not taking any type of chances whatsoever. So, you know, like I think that there's there's opportunity and there's opportunity for this cop too. He doesn't need, you know, that pension or whatever else. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna write a book, they're probably gonna make a movie about him, you know what I'm saying? Um, he'll do speaking engagements, you know, he might even start a private security firm, you know, like he'll be all right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I mean, I guess so. People yeah. bounce back from much worse, you know. That's true. Yeah. Sure. Now, when you were, you know, running these scams, though, were you doing it at a necessity or were you was like, you know what? Nah, this is no, like no, no, easy money. Nah, okay. I wanted okay. polo. That was it. I just I wanted polo. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want that. Ooh, that's, a, that's the truth. That's the truth. I wanted polo. You know what I'm saying? And I was going I was going out to eat at expensive restaurants. I was just scamming. You know what I'm saying? Wow. But look at um, God. Look mm. at God, man. You know? 
Um, I, James, yo, you know what's crazy? You, you know what's crazy? <laughs> Here we go. Son, uh -oh. I get out. I get out. I get out of jail. Right. First of all, like they told me I was supposed to be facing somewhere like I don't remember, like five years or something like that. And um, so I do a bit. I only end up doing like 30 days um, and I get out in like in less than 30 days. I have a job and I have a job at a bank. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so I'm look every day for like I worked there for like about two years. What did you get saved? That I was oh, yeah, I was already saved, bro. I was I was I was I got saved the day I was arrested, bro. Oh, that's right. You I, did remember? This. Yeah, 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 when I was arrested, um, I was in the holding cell. I asked for a Bible, I opened up the Bible, um, Russian roulette style, and it opened up to Psalm 51. You know what I'm saying? Bang. So I read it. I cried, you know what I'm saying? Like it just pierced me. So I'm already saved, you know what I'm saying? Okay, um, okay. but yeah, I'm I'm working at the bank, bro. And like every day I'm looking at these accounts, like 20,000, 100,000 people giving me the credit card numbers. I need them, you know, I'm looking at all this information, man. Like, and this is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I got convicted for, you know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm seeing credit card limits with like a hundred racks, you know. No temptation whatsoever, man. God removed that from me. You know what I mean? No. So mm. um, that's what I'm telling you. Like, you could bounce back. You know? Yeah, sure. You could bounce back. But I, I wasn't I wasn't that dad who needed it to pay rent. I was, you know, like most most dudes that I know that's doing scamming, you know, they just doing it just because it's easy, easy money, free money, you know? Yeah. Gotcha. But um, gotcha. you know, praise praise God, you know what I mean, for for for, for changing me and whatnot. Amen. Amen. Bro, that's good, bro. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Absolutely, yeah. man. But you know, Wait. hope I pray that I, you know we pray for the families. You know, what I'm saying, and, and and for Chauvin too, that he may you know repent and come to the full knowledge and understanding of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, man. Man, because even he needs Jesus. You know, uh, what y'all felt about um people saying that the 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 reason why this happened was because of his drug use, the fentanyl. Oof. Oh, uh, George. No, Ford. he didn't. I don't think. I don't think he died because of the drug use. Because uh, the EMT said that his eyes weren't dilated like how you normally see in someone who uh, who was OD'd. You right. know, sure, sure. The the drug abuse might have affected his heart and his arteries and his brain and everything else. Right. Um. You know, because it does have some sort of effect on your body. But you gonna tell me that? You know, putting your knee on a man's neck ain't ain't gonna have like some sort of negative effects on him. You know what I'm saying? Like you gonna blame yeah. that all on drugs? Come on, son. Yeah, that's man. it, bro. A any excuse to like, hey man, this this cop, we might have a serious case against this cop, bro. They're gonna look for anything, bro. Any right. any reach, bro. They're gonna look yep. at this man's uh internet history. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like little yeah. things. They do it like, with everybody, right? Yeah, facts. Yeah. Like and the, yeah. and the um the what do you call it the medical examiner who did the autopsy said that he died because of the 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 force the what do you call lack it? of Path oxygen right pathologist yeah yeah um the I think pulmonologist I'm sorry if I'm saying it, if I'm jacking it up um they all agree that it was a homicide you know what I'm saying that yes there was drugs in his system and yes that could have affected him but ultimately the reason for his death was because of how they were restraining him and how they were um handling him on the floor and so his heart stopped uh his lungs uh his lungs failed him too and then um you know he didn't have any oxygen going to his brain so all of that is from that knee on the neck now some people are saying oh well he didn't have the knee on the neck the whole time he had it on the shoulder blade because there are parts where that happened but in the courtroom, they were like, nah, like 85% right. of the time or 90% of the time he had the knee on the neck. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's and crazy. even after when the when there was no pulse, he still had the knee on the neck. <laughs> yo, when his man was like, yo, we should we should roll him over. Should we roll him over? He asked him twice, right? Because that's that's one of the ways that someone you help somebody recover, you know, when they have lack of oxygen as you roll them on the side. Mm -hmm. And the dude asked him twice. The first time he was like nah, and then the second time he ignored him. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the ambulance came, and he still had his his knee on in right. on his neck. Right, right. So yeah, that was just we all saw it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And maybe people needed those facts in court, but yeah, 
you know. Yeah, a lot of people still think like, oh, man, I've just been seeing a lot of comments. I've been seeing people saying that it's some sort of conspiracy by the left, you know what I'm saying? Because they want to divide people oh. in the community. Um <sighs> <laughs> what you mean, eh? What would you mean? <laughs> oh yeah, they were saying that the, that the reason, right? The reason this is happening is because of the mob, right? Because the mob. Oh, that too, that too. Yeah, because uh, uh, the mob, the mob, or the people oh, uh, were oh. pressuring, were pressuring. Uh, I, I guess the the justice system or, or, or politicians to to um to come to this verdict. You know. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. But right. kind of like what you said, right? If that was the case, if it was the whole the whole thing was baiting race wars, would yes. a not guilty verdict actually give them what they want? A race Absolutely. War? That's what I'm saying. Like absolutely. Like wouldn't if you're trying right. to start a race riot, right? If you if you if you're trying to cause division, that would be the perfect thing to do is to is to have him not guilty, right? Because then everybody would be mad. People were already ready. They were already out yeah, in the streets, ready. right? They were ready. They was like, yo, you know, I'm out here. I got my BLM discount. I'm about to get some brand new Jordans. You know what I'm well, saying? Like, To be fair, for those conspiracy theorists, you still have sentencing left. Yeah. <laughs> but I just, I just hate that, that it becomes like a political thing. Like Everything is political. It's like... Oh, you know, if, if you if you agree with the verdict, right, or if you agree that he should have been charged, it's like, oh, you're a leftist. It's like, nah, I'm not. A, I just I know what I saw. You know what I'm saying? I saw what right. I saw. To you're me, like I don't was, even that vote. Was crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Right. Like I don't even vote. Like what are we? Talking I, about? I ain't never even voted in my life. How am I left? <laughs> yeah, Word. you know what I'm saying. So it's like, <laughs> so it's like you're left, and I I, I get it because I know that. Like Nancy Pelosi, she politicizes it. You know what she I'm saying? Did. She, what she was, she like, was saying, she was like, ready for war." George or something like Floyd that. sacrificed his life. No, he didn't. He didn't want to die, right? <laughs> so I right. get it. I get when they, but it's like not everything is a is, is politics. Some things is just straight up justice and wrong and evil, and we just call it what it is. You know what I'm saying? Right. Regardless of what political side it falls on, you know what I mean? Man Absolutely. lost his life, and we saw it. Same thing with Philando uh, Castillo, man. Uh, yeah, that right. joint burns me up Dude. all the time. I don't know how that cop got off. Right, like, I saw oh, it with man. my own eyes. I saw what right. he was doing. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna tell me I didn't see that? <laughs> You're gonna tell me something else happened there? I don't. I don't know. Maybe the, I missed it. The thing switch you gotta, you gotta like. I guess what well, we all have to figure out is that what you see yes but it's what can you prove in the court in the courtroom you know and right. what the the arguments are and everything because you know l lawyers this is what they get paid to do they twist things around they they make you think a different way and all this stuff so you know uh, that's the i guess the the justice system for us for you yeah. you know yeah that's well, thank, thank god his justice system ain't like ours <laughs> For real. And Corey Ray got a line. What do you say? If you get over, what is it? Oh, man. Uh, what is it? If you get over, no, something like if you get it's over. It's going to be like he got a line. Get, if you get Who over on the cops, if you get over on the cops, don't think you're going to get over on God. <laughs> man, that's, <laughs> facts, oh, that's the line? Yeah. That's facts, though. That's facts. Shout out to that's Corey. That's yeah, OG. I feel like, I feel like I didn't get what I deserved. Mm. You know, and 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 I'm humbled by that every day, man. Like I understand grace, mm. you know, because I I I I should have been taken out a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, so praise God for that, man. Praise, praise God. God. But yeah, man, that's what's up. Nothing for us as believers to be divided. We may have different stance, but at the end of the day. uh Let's keep the peace among the saints, man. 